Hi, I'm Anders from KillHearts. I'm going to show you our plugin Multipass and give you a quick example of some of the things you can do with it. Multipass is a modular multiband effects processor. What this means is that it can split the input signal into multiple frequency bands and apply different effects on each of the bands. But it can also do a lot of other cool things, so let's run some sound through it and get started. The sound passes through these things we call lanes. On each lane you can add small effects that we call snap-ins. Uh, for example, we can add a delay to uh, just the low end or just the mid or the top end. So let's see if we can do something interesting with this sound. We'll start with adding uh, cars to the full spectrum. In my opinion, this kind of takes away the definition of the top of the sound, so we'll uh, enable that lane again. We'll see that we can get a bit of the edge back again. I'd like it to have a little bit more edge here, so I'll add a distortion to the top. Crank up the drive a little bit. I think we'll also do something to the bass end of things. Let's listen to the bass here. It's nice and all, but for these kind of arpeggios, I'd rather have something a little bit more bouncy. So I'll add a transgate. It's a sequenced uh, gate. I'll have a simple pattern that just chops it up and gives it a bit of a lighter staccato feel. Yeah, in the full sound, the bass kind of isn't as smeared as before. So it's starting to get more interesting already, but um, I think I'll add a stereo to the top and modulate it with an LFO to get like a stereo flutter back and forth between left and right. Let's make it a bit faster. So now we got some stereo going on in the top there as well. I want some more movement in this, so in the post effects lane here uh, I can add effects uh, which affect the whole thing, not just the different frequency bands. So I'll add a delay here, that easily gets really cluttered, so um, I'll use something we'll call duck on this kind of side chains the wet sound by the dry sound, which uh, brings out the delay taps without really cluttering up the dry sound too much. So it kind of adds this delay bounce to it, but doesn't uh, make it messy and cluttered. I think I want some more movement to it, so I'll add a filter to the, to the whole thing, but before the band splitter. Um, and I'll add an LFO to that as well, uh, having it sweep a bit back and forth. Gets a little bit flat like this, um, so I'm gonna add an envelope follower, uh, an ADSR uh, envelope uh, triggered by the input sound. I'll make it really snappy here and I'll modulate the cutoff by that. That way we will bring back some of the attack of the sun. I'll add a bit of Q to this filter to get a bit of squelch out of it as well. So yeah. I think that made the whole thing a bit more interesting if we compare it to the dry sound, which is this saw wave. This just sounds way more interesting. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to be creative with multipass. It's possible to do all kinds of stuff from really crazy sound design to more subtle effects. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye.